Hello, my name is Kyle. I like to read. I like books! And I like to drink. I'm drinking whiskey. And I want you to join me as I do both at the same time. <laughs> Together, we'll go on fantastic adventures and get hammered as we do it. This is Word Boy. Welcome back. I will be your host this evening. I will be reading to you a great novel, Alice in Wonderland. And tonight, my drink equals 49. Seagram 7 and 7 up times the two together, you get 49. And not to be mistaken with the 49ers, because I do not condone foosball. That's the stuff. Let us begin. Alice was beginning to be very timid of sitting by her sister on the bank and of having nothing to do. Once or twice she had peeped into the book her sister was reading, but it had no pictures or conversations in it. And what is the use of a book, thought Alice, without pictures or conversations? So she was considering in her own mind, and burning with curiosity, she ran across the field after it, and was just in time to see it pop down a large rabbit hole under the hedge. Niners kicking my throat up. <sighs> Pretty sure she's not drinking this. It was all very well to say, drink me. But why is little Alice was not going to do that in a hurry? No, I'll look first, she said, and see whether it's marked poison or not. She had read several little, nice little stories about children who have gotten burnt and eaten by wild beasts and other unpleasant things, all because they would not remember the simple rules their friends had taught them, such as that a red hot poker will burn you if you hold it to too long, and that if you cut your finger very deeply with a knife, it usually bleeds. She had never forgotten that if you drink much from the bottle marked poison, it is also very certain to, <clears throat> certain to disagree with you. Sooner or later. Now the mark about burning people. This right here was from a stove. A Nintendo accident, actually. The game wouldn't come out of the Nintendo, and I tried to pull it out. And I hit my elbow against this wooden stove and burned myself pretty well. Well, I mean, I guess you can't really see it because I had a bike accident as well that covered it over. But <clears throat> nonetheless, don't drink poison. <laughs> For those of you who don't understand this, cats and mouse don't get along. Dogs hate cats, cats eat mice. That I guess that's the way of nature, right? The food chain, that's the word. Saw Dodo and thought, bit dildo. So I'm sorry about that. That's okay. For all the children out there that are watching this. For why else would children not watch this, right? Because I don't want to suck no cactus. <laughs> that that hurts, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> well, Guatemalans should look inward and kill the rebel scum. America. We've just alienated all our Guatemalan fans. I, I, I kind of like it so far. Alice is bitch. She's, just... She's like, oh, look, I wonder what'll happen. Let me kick this shit in a chimney. I mean, oh, yeah, I should probably should have showed the picture of what got crushed, but, you know. Severely, what are you thinking of? I beg your pardon, said Allie very, Alice very abruptly. 
You had to go to the fifth bed, did I think? I had not, cried the mouse, sharp and very angrily. A not, said Alice, already ready to make herself useful and looking anxious about her. Oh, do let me help you undo it. I shall do nothing of the sort, said the mouse, getting up and walking away. You insult me by talking such nonsense. I did mean it, pleaded poor Alice, but you're so easily offended, you know. The mouse only growled in reply. Please come back and finish your story, I was called after it. And of the others all joined in chorus, Yes, please do. But the mouse only shook its head impatiently and walked a little quicker. What a pity it would be, wouldn't it say? Sighed the lorry as soon as it was quite out of sight. And an old crab took the opportunity of saying to her daughter, Ah, my dear, let this be a lesson to you. Never to lose your temper. Hold your tongue. All uh, right, so, again. in case any of you forgot where you were, which... Because of the whiskey, I kind of did a little bit. But look at this lizard. He's fucking pissed in the chimney. Okay. So I will assume I'm on this paragraph. The first thing she heard was a general chorus of, There goes Bill! Then the rabbit's voice alone, well, Catch him by the hedge. Then silence. And then another confusion voice. Hold up his head. Brandy now. Don't choke him. How was it, old fellow? How, how happened to you? Tell us all about it. Last came a, feeb a little feeble squeaky board. That's Bill, thought out. Well, I hardly know. No more, thank ye. I'm better now. I'm a <laughs> but I'm a deal too flustered to tell you. All I know is something comes at me like a jack-in-the-box and up goes a skyrocket. <laughs> Tell you something, ladies. If you see a massive penis, you just go for it. You don't delay. And mushroom for a minute to try <laughs> out and a mushroom for a <laughs> and it was perfectly right. I'm rereading the same sentence a different. Yeah, there's just all that useful use of the war <laughs> with the English fucking author. I'll tell you exactly what I think about it. Is uh, when they start using fucking skills from Technolize, it'll be influential because it's only like one third or two thirds of fucking voyage. And I'm too drunk to fish because I'm Kyle Owen. And I'm an Oregonian. Two of the cameras. Because we are totally going alternate universe on your fucking ass, bitch. Super Saiyan, yo.
Do you know how to write a book? That's all I'm wondering. Do you know how to write a book? Like, if I wrote this, my teacher would give me an F and be like, what the fuck is this? What's this person's name? What do they look like?